Hi, uh, it's Saturday, which is a weird thing, but, um, you know, that's alright. I'm making a video because Emmy said she missed me, and that's all I need. Nah, no, um, I don't know. I just, I've been feeling, hey, it's sunshine. <laughs> um, yeah, just, I don't know, I haven't made a video in a long time because of the Percussion Ensemble, which ended about two or three weeks ago, and then we still had, like, some stuff to, like, wrap up, and it's been very busy, and then Drumline starts next week, which is very stressful, because I'm changing instruments at Snare Drum, and the camera is currently sitting on a snare drum to show that to you, but I'm not going to show that to you because that would be dumb because then I'd have to move the camera and it's a lot of work. So, uh, today I finished series 7 of Supernatural, which is kind of weird. I don't know. I f which is like, hmm, because I started watching Supernatural in spring break and I like, watched like a series and a half in like three days and I decided to slow down and make it last a little bit longer. So I just finished series 7 today. And as usual, it's been very emotionally traumatic. Uh, except this si series hasn't been as bad. Like, actually, there was like a thing that happened halfway through the series. It was like... <laughs> and then the finale was not so much of a big deal. Although it was very, like, fast. And now it's slush. It's as always on, a, like, a massive cliffhanger. So now I have to go find some illegal videos. Not porn. Like, illegal things of Supernatural to watch it. To watch series 8. Which is exciting. Um, And also, yeah, school's been a lot of work. Uh... As Emmy mentioned, you know, when you get to the end of the year and it's shitty and you don't want to be in school anymore, but school wants you to be in school still. Although that's me all the time. But yeah, it's just a lot of a lot of tests and a lot of testicle no, not a lot of testicles, but a lot of tests and auditions and, you know, scheduling and stressful things. Thinking about the future, which is gross and no one should ever have to do that, right? Uh Hey, hey, I have a thing for Ashlyn. Hey, look. Actually, it's not a physical thing for you. It's a f thing that you will enjoy. So, um, my mum likes to make things and paint and sew and do a lot of different things. But, uh, she bought some fabric recently. And it was, like, a bunch of Star Trek prints. And so she decided to make book covers. And now I have a Star Trek book cover. Um, this one isn't actually the funniest. I'll show it to you in more detail in a sec. Than the flash you saw of it, but um, there she got like a lot of different fabrics, and this one doesn't have like any of the uh, photorealistic one fabrics because there's like one fabric and it's like navy blue, and it's just got like Leonard Nimoy and William Shatner. It's just their face like tiled over. It's fantastic. It's really funny. But this one, uh, this is my book cover. It's just got the outside has got Starship Enterprise on it, and it like wraps around a book like that, and it's got like a little tie at the front so you can tie it together and then it's got on the inside it's got this little pocket that slips you put the cover inside it and on that little panel there it's got like a bit of the comic book uh, Star Trek stuff and it's got Spock and the crew and uh, yeah and it, there was another thing it had like yeah and then on the inside inside it's got more stuff from the comic book Star Trek and yeah isn't that exciting it is really pretty I like it um yeah it's cool and it's very nerdy, which makes it even better. Uh, I've been thinking about VidCon a lot. I'm going to VidCon. You know that. Uh, got this shirt at VidCon. Wee! Free stuff. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I've just been thinking about it. Like, it's going to be weird because my uncle is going to be leaving Australia for the first time in his life for his 60th birthday. And he's going to come to um, Anaheim and go to Disneyland with us and then fly back to Denver with us and stay with us for a bit. Which will be really cool. And then... And I haven't seen him in a really long time, so that's cool. And he's really, like, a cool person. This is a drumstick, by the way. Just so you know. Um, I just have drumsticks in my bed. <laughs> yeah, and also my cousin from uh, Switzerland is going to be at VidCon with me. Which is just going to be weird. But hopefully having my cousin there means I can ditch my mum more. Sorry, mum. But I love you. But sometimes it's weird to have your mother with you. Yeah, so I don't know. How have you guys been? Uh... I don't know. It's just what's happening. What's happening? What's happening? What up? What's happening? Uh, hmm. What else? I don't know if I mentioned this. My friends released an EP under the name Sea Queens. Like sea, like the ocean, and queens, like the bit of New York. And, uh, you can find it at seaqueens.bandcamp. Bandcamp.com. Uh, it's like Beckon and Harry. Beckon Dignam and Harry Gilead. But they both only follow me on Twitter. But we've talked a couple of times. I've talked to Beckon more than Harry. Harry called me cute once, but Beckham called me cute like five times, so I'm just rolling in it. Um, 
This is a blanket. I am the kind of person who just keeps a blanket on her legs because blankets are warm and my mummy washed it and now it smells good. And I want to snuggle. So basically what's happening is that all of you need to come to my house and snuggle under this blanket with me uh, because I love you all dearly. I miss you all. We should have like a gathering. We should have a thing. We should, I don't really want to hug you all. I just want to hug you all. All of you. All at once. And also individually. You know, I just I just got the love. I got the hots for you. I got the hots for you, Vlogerata Jr. I'm falling off my bed. <laughs> yeah. This video is dumb. It's been like for six minutes. Uh. Yeah. Alright, I'll see you later. I don't know. Have a nice weekend. And week. And end of school. See ya.